morning it happened again <laughs> can almost depend on it um i was thinking last night it was in the wee hours i, I it was about um like 3 30 or 4 o'clock in the morning and my uh mr brain thought about something and i, I feel like sharing that with you um cheers so I've had 15 studios in my life. My first studio was uh, when I was in high school. And uh, I remember them all very fondly. N not that they were all great studios or they were all great experiences. If you can imagine what has happened to me since 1964. <laughs> um, and all the studios have memories of good and bad and hilarious, surreal, unbelievable. Um, and I'm actually thinking of writing a book about it. I think I'm writing a book of short stories about all my studios uh, and, and what they were before they were my studio. Um, one had been um, a police stables and precinct which had been then turned into an ACE SPCA shelter, which then became an organ factory. Not, not organ as in like Bach. Uh, and my studio was above the organ factory and the 40 foot pipes, when they played Bach, uh, I was standing right above it when I was painting. Um, another one was a, uh, uh, a, uh, A dog collar factory, I had converted an abandoned dog collar factory into my studio. And another one was a uh, porno production house. Um, and and then the, 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 the one I want to tell you about, it, I can't tell you the backstory and all that goes with it because I'd be here like, 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 uh, like, a, like a senator in Washington trying to filibuster. Um, it was an incredibly beautiful neighborhood in Mexico City. Old money, mansions, um, consulates, uh, high-end finishing schools. And it was the oldest, most uh, privileged community of Mexico City called Las, Lom Las, Las Lomas de Chapultepec. Um, and I can't even tell you how I got to the studio or, or how I found it, because that's a whole story in itself. But here's the deal. The man who owned it had his house on the front of the property, and it was an enormous mansion that had fallen into disrepair. And he was German, like real German. And his wife was English, and she was a painter. And she was in her 70s. I was in my 20s at the time, um, probably like 27, 28, maybe 29. Um, he had built this building in the back of his property after the war, second one, that one. Um, and, and he was very German and had two Mercedes Benz, old Mercedes Benz. And uh, what he had built was a high end, restaurant in the style of a German beer house. And above it were four floors of uh, banquet halls. And his idea was he was going to have German beer fests and, and German food and, 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 and German banquets and, and, ja, das ist gut, ja, und ich den the dude was really German and the Mercedes. And I'm thinking, where did this guy come from? And how did he get to Mexico? And why does he still have a German accent? And where is all this money? And oh my God. Okay, so here's the deal. The building, right, never opened. What happened was the community was so high end that they wouldn't give him a license. So he built the whole thing and it was complete. In the basement, professional kitchen, garland ovens, walk-in freezer, refrigerator, um, serving tables, everything for chefs. The first floor up was a German beer hall. There was enormous casks of beer in the walls with booths 
with fuzzy material. And if you walk down the entire, and it was huge, like very high ceiling, like 30 foot ceiling. And you walk through this entrance with the booths and you reach the maitre d's desk. And at the back was a maitre d's desk. And the maitre d's desk had one of those little lamps with a little lamp that the maitre d's use. The lamp was still there and he kept it illuminated. This place was empty from the 1940s, never used. And the whole place was exactly as it was built. My studio was on the third floor up. It was huge. I think it must've been 3000 square feet, all windows. Ceilings were too low, but you know, you get trade-offs, right? Um, in, with a beautiful view of Mexico City, um, not very expensive. And I would have to walk in every morning through this big wooden door with wrought iron and creak open the door and walk in and walk through this darkened beer hall with the with the light of the maitre d's desk still illuminated and then walk up this winding wooden staircase to my studio which had these stained glass window wall to the entrance like a church well <laughs> I never really thought about the church angle. I just saw it as stained glass. The church, I would have probably covered them with uh, with brown wrapping paper. Um, and the man was very old and he would lose his Mercedes claiming it had been stolen and the police would find it and then he'd have to go get it. And occasionally he would crash his Mercedes in the winding driveway as he tried to leave the, the, uh, the parameters. And he would occasionally come up to talk to me and he would explain to me how he ate raw onion and garlic and that's what kept him healthy. And I suggested that, well, maybe because you eat raw onion and garlic that people don't get close to you so you're not gonna get infected. Um, and he liked to talk metaphysics, philosophy. And his wife was a very good painter. She did murals in the in the uh, the tradition of like Siqueiros and, and Diego Rivera, and she was a very good painter at, at not painting anymore, uh, and you could tell that she had been a very very beautiful woman in her time. Um, at any rate, at one point I had to leave Mexico City. I had I had uh, again a huge backstory I can't tell you. I decided I wanted to move to a very small village after having lived five years in an enormous insane city of ten million people. I decided to go to a little tiny village an hour and a half south. So I packed up all my cares and woes and there I go in a, in a Mexican truck to a village called Temple Slan where I set up my next studio. So that's the story. I just wanted you to know about it. Thank you. And, and I'm going to the new studio. Well, I've had it for 18 years. That's my new studio. <laughs> the one before that I had for 18 years also. Uh, that was the dog collar factory. So I better stop now because otherwise, you know, I'll be here for 24 hours. Stop, please. Enough.